Hi, everybody. Cardinal Timothy Dolan here, continuing our our visit. We're in. We're actually in Ukraine now. We didn't know for sure if we'd be able to get here. But thanks be to God, we were able to leave Poland yesterday and come here to Ukraine. 94 years of age. Because as we mentioned yesterday, we know about the refugees that are in Poland and Slovakia. Remember, we visited some of them. He stopped talking after the bombing. But there's also suffering here in Ukraine. For instance, Yuri with the Knights of Columbus and my, my brother, uh, Monsignor Mirtek, were telling me they need fresh water here in Ukraine because the Russians have poisoned some of the wells and the rivers. So this is more or less a depository. We're actually on the grounds of the seminary of the Latin Rite Archdiocese here in Lviv. And it's a big storage area. And every day they had the trucks come in to deliver and the trucks to take it out to the people. Thank you for all your work. Thank you. The people throughout Ukraine will make requests. We need water, we need clothes, we need medicine. And then the Knights of Columbus, in cooperation with Caritas, we saw Catholic Charities are able to provide that. So you see one of the reasons we came is to thank you for your generosity. And now you see where it's going. You are from Mariupol, so keep it up. We need it. Hi again, everybody. Cardinal Timothy Dolan here. I'm here in Ukraine, and I just wanted to share some of the... This is my friend, the Archbishop, uh, Monsignor Mirtek. And this is interesting. See, this was a convent of Franciscan sisters that was destroyed under the communists, all right? And it's empty now. But what the archbishop is doing in his diocese is renovating this to be a center to receive orphans of the war. Now, not only, folks, is this a great act of charity, but it shows the planning and the thought and the concern that is going in for the into all of this for long-range consideration. The Archbishop told me that even now the uh, refugees are staying here for a night or two because we're so near the border. Then they move on. But eventually this is going to become a home uh, for orphans because sadly it's always the women and children and the poor that suffer most during the war. So uh, thank you, Archbishop, for this, this promising program.